The equipment behind me is used for video stroboscopy. I spend a lot of time with it, so we're good buddies. So part of the equipment you see here, we have a light box uh, that provides the stroboscopy light. Um, it's actually a strobe light that pulses according to what the laryngeal microphone tells it to, according to what pitch the patient is producing. Uh, so it's very neat equipment. Then there's the video box that actually connects to the computer and records the image through the whole um, exam. And then we're obviously able to review it on our monitor and it's saved on the computer so we can review it at a later time as well. The camera that's plugged into it um, has a distal chip at the end of it. So it's really high tech and state of the art. It's very neat. So the actual camera lens is at the very end of the scope. Video stroboscopy is, is no big thing. We're going to have you come into my room and take a seat. Then we're going to attach a microphone to your shirt. We're going to give you two sprays in the nose. The first one's a decongestant, and the next one's a little bit of lidocaine to help numb your nose. After that, we're going to take your picture and record your voice. We use that voice print so that we can compare the way your voice sounds now to the way your voice sounds at the end of treatment. After that, I'm going to go get my camera from the cleaning room, bring it back here, plug it into the computer, do a little bit of testing just to make sure that my light is working appropriately and that everything's ready to go. After that, I use a small laryngeal microphone. It goes right on your neck right here, and usually the patient holds it there, flat against their skin. Then I take the strobe scope and I very gently um, have it go through your nose. It doesn't hurt. Sometimes people feel maybe a little bit of pressure, but it usually um, is no big deal. Uh, we have kids in here who do just fine. Uh, we recently had a, a 10 year old boy and, and somebody as old as, uh, you know, in, in their later 80s. And typically they, the response is that that was way better than I thought it was going to be. So we're in the nose uh, for approximately one to three minutes. Um, depending on what we're looking for and how long it takes to find what we're looking for. We test mo movement of the vocal cords. Again, we're looking for if there's any bumps, lumps, lesions at all. Um, and we're looking at the vibratory patterns of the vocal cords as well. I record um, from the time that I'm in the throat until the time that I leave the throat. And then all of that information gets reviewed by the physician and I when, when we're through. Um, we also review that very carefully with the patient um, and make sure that the patient understands exactly um, what we saw and what we plan to do with that.